What if Madara became the Hokage? Then a lot could have been avoided. Because the history would have been different a lot. I mean, a lot. Like, Konoha under Madara would have either been destroyed by other villages or conquered all the other villages or make them puppet states. He more than likely would have been a despot. First of all, this was an idea discussed in the series. Hashirama wanted to find Konoha and have Madara be its first Hokage. Hashirama wanted peace and equality between all clans if Konoha, especially between Senju and Uchiha. The Uchiha clan would have probably slept a little better knowing their leader was the leader of the village. He was always about compromise. Compromise? Yes, compromise, and that's the important quality Hashirama has that Madara doesn't for leadership. Madara, for the most part, was an authoritarian, and him being Hokage would have been a terrible idea because the balance between these villages is very sensitive and someone who loves the thrill of fighting and breaking bones in war is not what that delicate balance needs. The village was wise to choose Hashirama as the, the leader, but there is some evidence to Madara's dictatorial tendencies. Onoki and Mu were threatened to obey orders or else Madara would have no qualms with beating them into submission. He was Konoha's first strongman. Konoha had agreed to an alliance with Iwaga Kure by Hashirama, yet Madara tells the leaders of another village that'll do as they're told with force if needed. He is grossly subverting his government, going against the orders of the ruling Hokage. If he will tell leaders of foreign governments what to or else what makes you think he wouldn't have ran Konoha as well, like that with some sympathies to his own clan. Hashirama believed in cooperation and compromise, hence why he gave all the other villages tailed beasts he had under his control. This what Hashirama believed was the way to peace. Madara believed in achieving peace by having Konoha as the hegemon of the ninja world. He believes through strength and power. Could that create a peace? Because who would threaten the peace of he's on top to stop him? Madara would have kept this behavior that would have kept Konoha in constant warfare with its neighbors. And that's why he was most likely wasn't chosen as the second Hokage like he should have been. Tobirama was chosen instead, but Madara was no fool. He predicted this when he spoke to Hashirama right before he turned fully evil and couldn't be brought back. Madara loses faith in the experiment he and Hashirama founded called Konoha and was prepared to do what it needed to take to fix what he saw as problems, even if it meant hurting those in the village. He tried convincing his own clan and Hashirama that Konoha was a failed experiment, the thing ways we're going, and tried convincing his clan and Hashirama, his only friend, that his approach of peace through strength. Neither his best friend Hashirama nor his own clan agreed. His own clan didn't like the approach because it'd surely mean future wars, which they were more than sick of due to the constant warfare in the past, in particular with the Senju. Madara was bitter when he realized he'd lost support for his ideas among everyone, particularly when his own people didn't agree. And Tobirama would succeed Hashirama, and he feared it was the beginning of Senju dominance. Tobirama honestly wasn't as nice to the Uchiha as his brother, and so he left and would come back to take the village by force alone if necessary. This legendary battle happened for control of Konoha. We all know what happened, of course. The point is, whether he had won here and taken control or been chosen as first or second, what would have happened? Well, most of the events probably wouldn't have happened like Tobirama, Hirzen, and very likely Minato and Kakashi might have not been Hokage due to the fact that Tobirama, Hiruzen were all connected to he first and they most likely would have never been chosen or more likely adhering more to Hashirama's philosophy of the will of fire and form of governance. Konoha would have fallen into a more authoritarian history and shitty time. Because who would stop Madara? Only Hashirama had the power to stop him. Conclusion is that he would have been a despotic ruler and either dragged Konoha into constant warfare trying to dominate the other villages, or he would have been defeated by our alliance of all the villages against him or all the villages against him, period. And Konoha would have been heavily outnumbered. But to play devil's advocate here a bit, the scary thing is the first shinobi war happened either way, and Tobirama died in it. This was followed by two more massive wars before the beginning of the series. That's what Madara was trying to prevent. Madara believed if he and Hashirama really tried, they could dominate other villages, and they'd ultimately do whatever Konoha ordered, and this would keep the peace because no one would want to face a powerful duo like those two. 
One big war to end them all and have Konoha as the dominant power in the world of Naruto. That's my answer. Sorry it was a tad long, but basically, Naruto from that point forward would have been changed a lot if he had taken power.